How many images do you have in your catalog that would have been perfect if it wasn't for some random irritating branch or leaf? Just enough to draw your eye away from the important parts of the image. So in the past, we had cloning and healing tools that took an absolute age to remove from a photo. Well, Adobe has a new AI removal tool that does wonders, and it does these wonders in no time whatsoever. I'm Darren Donovan, a C4 Photo Safari guide and host, and today I'm going to show you just how easy this removal tool is, how it works, and show you a quick example of this tool at work with what would have been a tricky image to work with in the past. I'll also explain a little bit about the technology at work. Adobe Lightroom's AI removal tool leverages machine learning to intelligently fill areas you select for removal. So here's a breakdown of the process. You use a brush to select the object or area that you want removed from the photo. The AI then analyzes the surrounding pixels of the selected area. It identifies patterns, textures, colors, and lighting to understand the context of the image. Based on its uh, analysis, the AI then generates a new set of pixels that seamlessly blend with the surrounding area. It predicts what the area should look like if the unwanted object wasn't there. This is the content aware part. It's aware of the image's content. The generated fill is carefully blended with the rest of the image to minimize visible scenes or artifacts. Lightroom often provides options for adjusting the source area used in the fill, allowing you to fine tune the results. So, Lightroom's AI removal tool intelligently analyzes your image, predicts what the area would look like without the selected object, and then seamlessly fills using machine learning techniques. Let's have a look at what it's capable of. All right, so the image that I've selected is an image of a gorilla in the Windy Impenetrable National Park in Uganda. Um, in Uganda, you're in the rainforest there, there's often going to be things that are in the way of your images. So you get used to that and you work around it. Sometimes though, it is distracting. So this particular situation, beautiful mountain gorilla, but with a leaf slap bang in the middle of its head. Um, so what I'm going to do is here on the top is uh, go to the eraser tool that you see in the middle of the top menu. I'm going to click on that. It gives me my three options here, which is cloning, healing, and then that beautiful new eraser tool. So make sure that your internet is connected for this. Uh, it won't work without internet. And the second thing is, is to make sure that you tick the use generative AI box. So click on that. Right now, get your brush out. And make sure that you just give sort of an extra little 5% on the outside uh, to give the, the AI space to work. So give a little bit extra there and just brush all around where you want the changes made. Get around there, that extra 5%. And then... Right, once you've done that, uh, there will be a selected box. You've got your mask add. Now just press remove. So when you press remove, it's now going to analyze the image. And once it's analyzed, it will give you the three variations. And then once we've got those three variations, we choose. And then we create the mask. And like I said years ago, this would have taken forever to do. Uh, because and it wouldn't have looked great because you would have had smudging and all sorts of things looking wrong uh, with the image right so now it gives you the three variations one two and three all right variation two looks about right to me and then you just press generate and now it makes all the changes that you need and there, very simply, press Y, and you get your before and after of those changes that you make. Right, well, I hope that you have found this video insightful, and we'll be using this tool. It is, I think, going to be saving a lot of people a lot of time. If you found this, uh, this video uh, interesting and enjoyed it, please press the subscribe button and the like button on the video. Also, if you have any, any questions or queries, uh, please leave a comment 
and um, we'll make sure that we get back to you. But until next time, have a good one. Cheers.